good learners welcome to karnataka state open university and the department of biotechnology mysore i thank you all for choosing karnataka state open university for continuing your higher studies department of studies and research in biotechnology offers two programs first program two year msc program in biotechnology in open distance mode and second program phd program in regular mode the department was established in the year 2012 and unique master program in biotechnology was introduced in the year 2013 the phd program was introduced in the year 2020 the main objective of this program was to impart quality education at any age and produce skilled biotechnologists at affordable cost and to create an opportunity for learners interested in biotechnology and also for those working professionals who could not attend regular courses in conventional university to create an opportunity for learners interested in biotechnology with the potential to innovate invent and disseminate knowledge for the welfare of mankind and benefit of society and environment MSc biotechnology program attracts many students because of techniques concepts procedures and applications involved related to many disciplines which in turn opens many job opportunities in different fields the biotechnology sector has tremendous growth potential and scope which is emerging as one of the dominant sectors providing a number of employment opportunities today especially the bangalore it is true which has emerged as biotechnology hub for both research and industry in india needless to say there is a huge demand for skill skilled biotechnologists the other objectives include creating awareness towards socio ethical implications of potentials of biotechnology to enable learner for career of constructive services in academia government industry and health related fields to train the learners with appropriate critical thinking and problem solving skills and aptitude for taking up various biotechnology related job opportunities to provide basic grounding in research techniques and entrepreneurship skills the department of biotechnology comes under the ambit of school of sciences and offers master degree in biotechnology and phd program the curriculum for msc biotechnology is designed to suit the current needs of the industrial sector the biotechnology sector sector has tremendous growth potential and scope which is emerging as one of the dominant sectors providing a number of employment opportunities today the biotechnology program is highly multidisciplinary field that involves the use of living organisms drawing upon other sciences of chemistry physics engineering computer and information technology to develop scientific breakthroughs and products for the welfare of human society two year msc program in biotechnology is offered in open distance learning mode it is a semester scheme with four semesters spread over two years the biotechnology is distance learning is unique program aimed to provide the students with requisite knowledge sought after skills and in depth training in both theoretical as well as practical aspect of the discipline to enable the students to effectively pursue their career and coming to delivery mechanism of msc biotechnology in distance mode all of you may have a doubt in distance education how the contents of the course are delivered to give a glimpse of it the delivery mechanism for follow in this university in odl mode is different from that of the conventional universities the open university system is more learner oriented it is more learner oriented rather than the teacher oriented it is geared to cater to the needs of motivated students assuming that the student is an active participant in the teaching learning process instruction for students 
instructions to students is imparted through combination of various modes such as print, audio, video, supported by face-to-face -face communication during personal contact program, which we usually call it as PCP, and also counseling. The university follows multi-channel approach for instruction with medium of instruction being English only. It comprises printed self-learning material supported by audio-video programs, face-to-face -face counseling by academic counselors in the PCP personal contact programs. And coming to the mode of instruction and self-learning material, the self-learning material takes the role of the teacher in distance education system. So self-learning material plays major role and very important role here. The study material provides you, provided to you is called self-learning material. It facilitates learning on your own. That's why it is called a self-learning material. Here the lessons are very simple and easy to understand. The content of the courses are delivered by self-learning material, lectures, counseling and skills imported during the contact classes, counseling along with laboratory and field work components. Yeah, the self-learning material is, as I have already told you, it is student-centric. The curriculum and the self-learning material for both theory and practical is designed and scrutinized by experts drawn from different universities, industries and in-house faculty for independent study. It is developed with prior proper planning to de develop the self-learning material which helps learners with appropriate approach of self-explanatory, self-contained, self-directed, self-motivated and self-evaluating. These are the specialities of this self-learning material. And uh, the self-learning material of each course have been divided into blocks and units. Each block has one credit value which means you have to devote 30 hours of study for one block. Be it studying, discussing with counselors, attending classes, writing assignments and so on. Each unit begins with objectives which tells what is expected from a learner after learning that unit. Check your progress questions are given in the content so that you can measure your progress while studying the material. Try to answer these questions which make the self-learning material with which you can evaluate. The references are given in the end of each unit which gives you source for furtherance of your study. And coming to the duration of the program, internal assessment and personal contact program. The duration of the program is two years. However, the additional two years, that is N plus two would be provided to complete the program. Coming to internal assessment, the internal assessment is 20%, whereas the 80% is term and examinations. The internal assessment includes assignments, tests, field work, seminars, etc., which will be intimated to you in each and every semester, depending on the curriculum. Then coming to personal contact program, the personal contact program is compulsory since it is the practical oriented program, biotechnology, MSc biotechnology is the thing which is the practical oriented program, the personal contact program is compulsory, mandatory as per the UGC and uh, this four credits for each semester, the practical includes for each semester, four credits for each semester and each credit you will have to undergo to study 30 hours. So from 120 hours of practical classes for each semester and the theory for theory, it is only 10% counseling classes. Whereas for practicals, 100% counseling classes. So 120 hours of practical classes is compulsory for each semester. Whereas theory, 10% of the theory papers, it is right, you can, which is you can attend that. Coming to syllabus and evaluation system, and uh, each uh, semester has four theory papers and two practicals, and each theory paper has four credits, and each paper has 20 internal marks and 80, 
theory marks and the minimum passing is say is 32 marks. Whereas the practicals, there are no practicals, each practical carry 50 marks, and here internal again 10 marks and 40 marks, uh, which is evaluated in the examination. And similarly, all the four semesters, right? First semester include biomolecules, biochemical techniques, enzymology, biochemical transformation, and clinical significance, followed by two practical papers. Coming to the second semester, the marks remain same, and the papers include molecular genetics, molecular biology, immunotechnology, techniques in biotechnology, advanced techniques in biotechnology, followed by two practical papers. Coming to third semester, it is industrial microbiology, gene technology, food and environmental biotechnology, hormones and cell signaling, and followed by two practical papers. And each theory paper carries four credits and 20 internal marks and 80 government examinations, and minimum passing is 32, whereas the aggregate for passing each uh, paper, right, each semester, it should be 40 percent aggregate. And coming to fourth semester, you have uh, bioinformatics and biostatistics statistics as first paper, plant biotechnology, the second paper, animal biotechnology as the third paper. And the fourth paper is dissertation. And the dissertation, you are supposed to uh, carry out a research program, a project, right? Wherever uh, you feel comfortable, you can do it in the department here also, or from your native place nearby, by a recognized laboratory or university or college, whichever is preferable. In the dissertation, again, uh, you, 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 will be, will be, you will be provided with the guidelines, how to do, what to do, and how to write the dissertation. Everything will be given in the deep, in detail in the concerned semester. And uh, so I extend you my good wishes for successful completion of the master's degree in biotechnology. After successfully completing, the learner will be competent in the field of biotechnology and allied subjects, subjects with classical and corporate responsibility and empowered with multiple company competences and additional of quality dimension to learner's knowledge. The learner will be self-equipped to find exciting career opportunity in private, government sector and competent enough to clear eligibility tests such as NET, State level eligibility test gate for teaching, doctoral research fellowship in universities, research organizations, etc. On, on behalf of the university and department, I wish you all the very best. And the assignments for this semester is already uploaded in KSU website and the submission, last date for the submission of assignments is 15th March 2020. Thank you.